Wow, it's Friday. The week has flown by. Hopefully you know what that means. It means it's Free Lab Friday. It means that you get access to another free lab. This week's lab is a packet tracer troubleshooting lab. My good friend, Brian Gallagher, who's now working with me full time, has created this lab. And he's created a detailed troubleshooting lab that you need to complete. This is a packet tracer assessment file. In other words, you have to complete a set of objectives by troubleshooting the network and fixing the network and hopefully getting 100%. So I'm gonna hand over the video now to Brian who will talk you through this lab and tell you what you need to do to get 100%. Now let me tell you, Brian is really good at creating labs. He's an amazing instructor as well and will be helping me with the mentorship program as well as ramping up our production of lab guides, courses, and other things which will hopefully benefit you. Brian and I have already recorded an interview where we talk about Brian's background and how he transitioned from what he was doing previously to networking, which I think is a great story. I haven't had chance to upload that to YouTube yet, but hopefully very soon you'll learn more about Brian and his story and how he's been in networking now for many years. So again, I'll hand over the video to Brian and he'll explain to you what you need to do to complete this lab. Hi everybody, it's Brian Gallagher at davidbomble.com here. It's Friday and that means your next installment of your free CCNA Packet Tracer Assessments. This week's Packet Tracer Assessment is a troubleshooting IPv4 network scenario you will take on the role of a third party support engineer and you have a new client, Wayne Enterprises, and Wayne Enterprises have raised a ticket this morning indicating that there has been a major network outage over the weekend and today, Monday morning, none of their clients on the LAN have access to any internet resources. The level one support team on site have attempted some remedial fixes, but this has not resulted in any restoration of network services. They have now escalated the ticket to yourself. You are now the network engineer on duty today and you will field this troubleshooting scenario. I recommend you have a pen and notepad handy for this troubleshooting scenario. I also recommend you follow Cisco's eight step troubleshooting model. That's listed in the Packet Tracer topology for you as well, just as a hint and tip, but it will also be listed as a link underneath the video. So to, in, to correctly troubleshoot this scenario, you need to clearly define the problems. Now the problems are identified for you within the Packet Tracer activity criteria. Make notes of what you see as the problems. And then once you have listed those problems, you will need to go into the new topology design for Wayne Enterprises within the Packet Tracer topology. You will need to go into each of the individual devices and discover the network documentation, the network addressing schemes, etc., and make notes on what you see are potential causes of the failures in this network. Step number four within the troubleshooting model is to devise a plan to combat those problems to restore the network services. So based on what your probable causes you will discover within the devices as you've gathered the detailed information, you want to be able to devise a plan to solve those problems one at a time. So make yourself notes again on what you think are going to be the solutions then you will implement that plan of solutions one step at a time. Observe the results of each of the fixes you implement, verify the results are as you expect. If the results are not as you expect, make sure you have a rollback plan and then repeat the process of your next fix, observing the results as you go. As you get to the end of the troubleshooting scenario and you're hopefully getting the 100%, you should document the changes that you have made to solve the problems within this troubleshooting scenario. And then within Packet Tracer, you can go and click the check results option within the Packet Tracer file and that will open up the troubleshooting scenario, grading assessment, 
and in this case, because I haven't completed the tasks, the activity is seen as incomplete and it will tell you to try again. In the assessment items section, there will be a list of what you will be graded upon, but also there are many connectivity tests built into this assessment criteria to give you your 100% points. So in this case, I haven't completed. I will need to go back by closing the Packet Tracer assessment. That will lead me back into the Packet Tracer file, but I can then go back into the individual devices to fix from the hints and tips what have been given from the assessment items and the connectivity tests, what I missed out that would have got me the 100%. I hope you enjoy this Packet Tracer assessment. Good luck. I'm Brian Gallagher. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next Free Lab Friday.